My name is Kenny Smith. I'm 35 years old. I've been riding bikes pretty much my whole life, and I'm breaking into the helicopter world. This is a big adventure for me. It's like just taking the training wheels off for the first time. I think it's pretty good, man. I think we're pretty light. Should be all right? Yeah. We should be able to split that up. I'm super excited to throw some bikes in a couple of helicopters and fly to a place that's really hard to get to with a bunch of buddies and uh, hopefully drop into some, some of the sickest ridges we've ever ridden in our life. The Gulf Charlie Foxtrot Delta F-49 North helicopter is departing to the northeast. Uh, we're headed to a mountain called Mount Moore and it's between Talioko Lake and Choco Lake. It's uh, 109 miles from Camel River as the crow flies. We got a pretty good idea what the zone's gonna be like just from talking to Alex Bracewell out there and I know he's he does some goat hunting up there and he kind of gave me some beta on uh, what the dirt's like, what the rock's like, so fingers crossed. Lake, that's where we're going. And this is our zone. Oh, look, Hope. Yeah, you look good. Fucking sick! Oh! Fuck, that looks good. Yes! It's where the Bracewell Lodge. It was built in the 70s by our host, Alex. And it is absolute heaven. Look, look at that. Oh, this is so much better than I thought. Man. You can ride everything. Anything you want. Good company is mandatory. We kind of have a little general rule with our friends. If you whine once, then you're never invited on the trip again. <laughs> Alex fired up the generator at four in the morning and the weather's looking perfect. Everyone's super fired up, so we're gonna head out. The one you were looking at? Yeah, so they can camp either up on that one or this guy here and ride these spines so we can just hike back out. Pretty good little spot we got here. Got some lines over there we're gonna go explore right away and then uh, work our way over the other ridges in the afternoon. I'm excited. Should I try creeping in? I'll know pretty fast. Hey guys, I'm gonna creep in, and if it's getting spicy, I'm gonna dump her sideways and hike out, but if it's good, I'm just gonna go. Uh, yeah, boys, she's good to go at the top, but uh, about halfway down, it starts getting a little chunky, so I'd take it easy there. It was great, like, I mean, nice turns at the top, and then I just got into it a little bit too fast. <laughs> Luckily, I found a nice big one at the bottom that stopped me with my wheel, and Kenny was there to catch me until the very last second. <laughs> is the 
the best part. And I just like that you can't really mess up out there. You kind of got to stay smart and ride good and be prepared, and that's what kind of makes it fun, you know? Buster here, figure out how to get and get down to that sweet ridge over there. Go time. woke up to an incredible inversion here and some frosty sleeping bags. This is gonna be a top 10 moment for me, I think, for a camp spot. We, we scratched in a line last night and um, yeah, we're gonna go ride down the side of this mountain for breakfast, I guess, is the plan here. We good! two-hour hike a bike up the mountain here back to camp and then the three of us are gonna head out to ride this cool ridge that I think everyone should go get a little piece of before we head out of here. You know, the payoff is just to, to visualize these trips and try to get to these places and to go there with your buddies and ride some lines out there. It's, I don't know, there's nothing really beats it, I don't think. Like, what else do you want to do with your time? Oh, well, yes, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> Combine mountain biking and helicopters into into one trip. I couldn't ask for anything else. <laughs> Kenny uh, came to our school in Campbell River and uh, did a good job and uh, we kept him on and he's working with us now. Do you know much about Kenny and his mountain biking? Or? Well, I don't want to lie, uh, I don't know nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. 